Hello everyone, Jeff here, and welcome back to Halls of Torment. Um, today we're playing with the Shield Maiden for the first time. Uh, I'm going to show you all my loadout right now. We've got plated boots for extra block strength, block strength, plated plate armor, um, attack speed gloves, the summoner's ring for skellies, damage, and damage based on missing HP. We still don't have a helmet yet, so hopefully we'll pick that up in this run. And we're going to go to the Ember Grounds because we need to complete that quest that lets us get a starting ability. So apparently the Shield Maiden's attack scales off of block strength. Uh, I believe it's that cone one. So we're going to be stacking block strength and hopefully it uh, goes well. She does seem fairly powerful, I would say, at first glance. Also starting with a Necromancer Ring, not too bad. Let's take attack speed. Attack speed's one of those things that's really hard to go wrong with. I think my strategy here is to hang out for a few levels and then we'll move. Ooh, she gets strong block. Okay, four more block strength, nice. And area cone size, that seems good. The pretty wide area we're hitting. Yeah, if you have not played Halls of Torment, or have you not seen it and this is the first time watching it? Hello, if you're new to the channel, thanks for watching. Um, hit that subscribe button for sweet, sweet content. Um, anyway, yeah, this is the most vampire survivors like game that's come out, I think. That, like, I actually like it more than Vampire Survivors, but it is, um, like the closest thing to it that's done the best in my opinion. Like it takes that foundation and just adds to it in a, the perfect way. Anyway, that's my spiel about how much, how great this game is. Um, what we're doing is a quest to kill 15,000 enemies here in one run, uh, which will let us start with a starting ability if we complete that quest. Um, not the easiest thing. What do we want here? HP regen is strong. HP regen is very good in this game. Uh, crit damage and 10% damage seems outrageous, though. Even though our crit chance is not very good right now, but can make it better later. It is possible we can get like a full invulnerability build. Pick hide. I, I'm less interested in defense as I am block. Yeah, attack speed and block strength. Nice. So the way block strength works in this game is there is a... I'm just going to actually show the screen. We have a 100% chance to block any attack that's 8 damage or less, a 50% chance to block any attack that's 29 damage or less, and a 70 and a 20% chance to block any attack that's 72 damage or less. Um, that's kind of how it works and just that damage goes up. So basically if any enemies had hitting us for less than eight, it is a guaranteed auto block and we don't even have to worry about it, which becomes good when you get swarmed by um, a bunch of tiny guys. Um, I'm gonna take strength. Um, damage is pretty important since we are trying to get a certain kill limit. And then we have the elites, the first elite. Hopefully, hopefully he'll drop the plate helmet. Um, more attack speed. It's really hard to go wrong with attack speed. See, we just blocked his, we just blocked the boss's attack. That's a good sign. Okay, we didn't block that one. That was, that's, that's less good. Um, let's go take... HP regen, although I do like strength and you know what? Let's take strength. I say I do like cone size and strength as and as well as HP regen, but um yeah, strength is probably the best choice there. I don't know. You really get a lot of decisions in this game. Alright, now we can take HP regen. And we get our first ability. Um I'm gonna go with Phantom Needles. I've like 
I don't think it's been very good as far as abilities go, but there are unlocks for doing things with certain abilities and whatnot, so gotta try it all, right? Collateral damage too. Let's get that cone up bigger. I think what we're actually gonna do is we're going to just continue uh, murdering and then we're gonna run down to the southeast section of the screen, uh, to block screen, and pick up that talisman hopefully when we get an evolved ability. Um, once you have three once you have three upgrades of a specific uh, spell or whatever, uh, you can kind of evolve it. It's not evolving in the sense of like uh, Vampire Survivors or some other games like into a new ability. It more so just adds like a very powerful additional functionality. Um, okay, I do want block strength, but attack speed and damage like 15% and 10 is too much to pass up. So like, for example, there's an ability called Transfiction that shoots like a cone of three or two or three like projectiles in front of you. When it evolves, it also shoots them behind you. Uh, the lightning storm, uh, the lightning strike ability makes like a electrified puddle on the ground that deals damage over time. It like, it basically doubles their damage output, it seems like. But it doesn't like, it's not like changing garlic from garlic to that giant mass of stuff in uh, I forget the name of it in BS. I'm gonna try and stop saying like so many times. I feel like I've said it 40 times in the past 30 seconds, so. I should probably expand my vocabulary to like uh, <laughs> something better. <laughs> that was intentional. All right, um, it, this is, we seem very strong. Oh, look at that. We're just walking through. Yeah, give me bl more block strength. Come on, bring it. Okay, okay, we can take damage. We can take damage. I think it's a 50% chance that we're blocking them. Which is still pretty good. Um, Take crit chance. Now that said, even though we have a lot of block chance, if we... Um, if we get hit, it's gonna hurt, because we don't have any, um... We haven't taken any defense. So, every hit's gonna take a chunk. I do wonder if defense lowers the, um, actual block. Uh, I'm gonna take multi-attacks. I wonder, I wanna see something. So our block strength right now is 100% for 9 and 36 for 50. I'm going to try and take uh, a defense up in the next level up and see if that changes it at all. Of note, this is also my first run with Shield Maiden. So, bear that in mind. We're still uh, experimenting a little bit here. Uh, naturally, there would not be any... There would not be any defense there. circle here would be all right uh block strength okay well we have to take that one now we're at 10 and 40 hopefully we can find some defense ow the dog okay these dogs really hurt and there's our second elite you spit in that purple fire We call him not Diablo. You know, he very much looks like Diablo from Diablo 1 to me. Ooh, just walk through the fire. Can we do that? Are we that guy? That girl? We're a shield maiden. You know what? 
Chill Maiden might not have genders. It's just a title. We're taking some serious damage, though. Maybe some movement speed is in order. I think a lot of it's just because we're a little slow right now. The bosses in this game have such interesting, like, AI. Uh, uh, piercing? I think piercing doesn't do anything for us. I, I want attack speed, but I feel like we have to take... I mean, I want movement speed. I feel like we have to take attack speed there. Yikes. That was some damage. You notice I've started moving back towards, uh, <laughs> back towards the power up. There is, there is healing potions in the uh, barrels here. So I'm trying to grab a couple. Also our like passive healing is not terrible. So we just go a little bit without getting hit, we'll be fine. We're very good against the smaller enemies. You know, there's the there's the big old goo monster. Means our damage is kinda lacking. Maybe we shouldn't have taken the phantom needles. I don't know. Okay, he's down, and he dropped a chest, so that's good. We have to, like, wrap around to it. Um, you know, I think I just realized I haven't been attacking this entire time. I thought I had auto attack on, and I don't think I did. So we've just been using our shield bash the entire time. That's interesting. Uh, um, yeah, let's take this demonic bond and just put it in the bag. No, I want it. Wait, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Use it. Yeah, cause see, now we're doing a hammer attack, so. Hmm. We spent nine minutes not using our main attack. Uh, we're doing a lot better than I thought. I was wondering why our DPS seemed kind of low. Uh, now we just gotta <laughs> survive. Now that we've taken a little bit of damage here. Oh, we're wait, wait a second. We're we're like really strong. Did anyone else? Okay. Please comment. Did anyone notice that I was just not attacking this entire time? Again, first time playing Shield Maiden, so that's my excuse, but also, like, it's kind of funny, right? Imagine how, how many things we would have killed already. Well, that being the case, um, I'm gonna take the Phantom Needles. Uh, no, I'm gonna take Dedication 3. That's too much to skip. Dragon's Breath. I love Dragon's Breath. You just need to recover. Um, crit damage and damage, and the mace that we're now using. I, I really can't get over that. Oh no. Oh no, it looks doomed.
All right, flame breath, save us. Give us some potions or something. Trying to loot back around here. Um, piercing is not it. I think we're supposed to take defense and damage. We're getting some healing. Just need to go a little while without getting hit. Um, Dragon's Breath. I think we have to take that. One thing I've noticed about these, like, dogs is, um... They, they like circle around you in like the spiral motion so if you kill them in a similar motion you can take advantage of that fire affinity is cool but i'm just gonna take phantom needles because now we can go pick up the upgrade for that shield maiden's op that's where i'm at right now so we've got amps we got skeletons we got we got all the summons going on right now. Alright, give me... Upgrade? Nope. Radiant Aura? Yeah. It does what you think it does. Although it's pulsing, not constant. And it does damage based on... It, like, it splits its damage over who all's in the radius, so... Those are relevant factors. We reached level 30. Uh, or, a rate, or a radius and damage. I, I think that's the one we want. I think I could do for some more... Um... Oh, well, that, that was a nice pickup. Uh, let's take some movement speed. Block strength. I would like HP regen, honestly. Um, area cone size seems pretty good. Uh, three percent crit chance, base crit bonus on radiant aura. No, I'm fine with that. Um, I do. We do dragon's breath. All right, that was good. That was like four levels or something like that. Five levels. Oh, and we got a speed power up. Nice. Actually, I think we're invincible. Yeah, we're immune to damage and we're faster for a brief time. So I still don't know what you need to do to actually um, win a stage. I know there's an enemy to kill that's very strong, but there's currently a countdown timer that kills me, so. I'm trying to figure that one out. I'm gonna take Aura Charge Speed. I think or Radiant Aura goes pretty well with this build seems like it anyway there is another ability there on the other side it probably makes sense to go pick that up we gotta watch out for these magma worms too their fire is a uh, the purple it just means it's cooler looking it doesn't really do anything else but it is nice because you can distinguish it and I appreciate that. Oh, there's a... Let's, let's kill this slime guy. I think I was saying, I would want some more HP regen, so let's get it. Oh, we are dumpstering him. And he's gonna split.
We got a bunch of little guys to deal with. Perhaps. Perhaps. We are just that guy. Oh, there's actually two elites. I didn't even notice. Maybe block strength just isn't good enough. Because we're still, like, getting hit for quite a, quite a bit. Maybe defense would be better? I don't know. I mean, the way I see block strength is it's basically evasion. Um, in a way. It's just I don't know if the de if it functions with defense. Like, I don't know the order of operations of the game yet. We will. There's a big pile of goo underneath that. We can't actually take it. Um, we more HP regen. We're going to pick up these things and we're going to walk back around. Dragon's Breath 3. Sure. That means it is eligible for an upgrade. Like a new cell phone. Um, Sacred Flame. Yep. 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 Heat Blast. Dragon's Breath knocks back enemies. That's uh, a little unexciting, but I guess I'm curious. Uh, it looks like it just kills them. Meanwhile, Radiant Aura is out here just lighting the world on fire. Um, you know, Fire Affinity doesn't seem so bad right now, but I'm going to take Proficient Stance. Three defense and three block seems quite good. Um... I guess now we're going to go over to this other one. This other ability and see what, what it's got for us. Oh, look. Someone has come to challenge us. Oh, it's this guy. Him and his legionnaire army. Gonna circle strafe him. Um, base defense strong. I, I kind of like the idea of keep pumping up our defenses. What what is this looking like? Damage reduction forty one percent. I feel like this is after damage reduction, which would make it pretty good in conjunction. Chill out, my guy. Smack you with my hammer. I think we need more damage. Helmet. Helmet. Three defense, three block strength. Yes. Yes. Good, good. We are the tanky, the tankiest of tankies. Since when did crossbow archers start showing up on this map? Feels like that's new because uh, I know they're from the third map, I guess. Thing, some things get stronger as you progress. I don't know. That's interesting. If that's how it works. Could be I'm delusional. I just completely forgot they existed in previous runs. I am fully willing to believe that is also the case. Uh, we're getting surrounded. Not a fan. I'm going to take strength up. Pump up our damage. Pump up the jams. Pump. Pump up the jams. Pump them up. Pump them up. Did anyone else uh, remember listening to that as a kid? Like their parents just go crazy with it? Was it just my mother? Remember the 90s when dancer sizing was like a whole thing? I mean, I'm sure it is now still, but it's just like... 
kind of hilarious to think about. And those terrible TV commercials and VHS tapes. Ugh, VHS. Manual rewind. Ugh. I feel like I was born about 30 years too early. Maybe. I don't know. If the world becomes unlivable in about 70 years, then I'm going to be saying I would have said the opposite. So, who knows? Who knows? We're in hell right now. Uh, um, let's push through. I'll take lightning strike now. It's fine. All right, now we are pushing up to that vacuum up there. I do have the intention of putting this helmet I have picked up in the well so we can bring it home. Um, let's take Radiant Aura up. Ow. See, I'm also noticing we have to kill 15,000 enemies, but we've killed... 4,300. So... How, how how do that? How we do that? Now, obviously, I probably would have killed more if I was using my attack for the first 10 minutes, but... But still. And starting the game with a new... With a starting ability is going to be a complete game changer once we get that. Okay, the, the flamethrower um, or the fire breath knocking enemies back is pretty, pretty boggers, honestly. Having a, having a hard time seeing any fault in it. gives you that extra real estate. Oh, that's right. We also got the ring. We probably want to send back the ring over the helmet, right? The imp ring. I feel like that's more important for a summoner build. I don't know. Um, aura damage and charge speed. Yeah, the aura radius is big enough already. We want it to attack faster and hit harder. We have almost made it to the promised land been 40 years. Oh, I'll take it. Invincibility and speed. Oh, and it ran out right where we're in the middle of this pile. We are kind of just pushing everybody with us. Oh, it's right here. There we go. All right. Incoming level ups. Lightning strike. Um, not really. Let's take base crit. Base crit. Yeah. Um, damage. I don't think we have enough fire abilities to justify the other one. Um, we could take range. Doesn't seem bad. Oh boy, fire breath up our crit chance and base crit bonus. Let's do crit and crit bonus on the radiant aura. Block strength up. Nice, nice. Is an achievement. Crit damage bonus seems like something we want. 
cone and area, yeah. Range, kind of letting lightning strike just be right now. Base crit up. We really needed to increase our damage and I believe we did that. Hey, we got the first Phantom Needles achievement. That's something. Uh, fire Breath. A million damage with Fire Breath. The dragons would be proud. You know, piercing with Phantom Needles doesn't seem like a terrible idea, but it might be more of an Archer thing. I haven't played Archer since we had a lot of upgrades, so I kind of want to go back to them, but... We kept unlocking new classes, so... Gotta try them out, you know? Alright, I'm currently heading back towards the well. So we can deposit this Imp Ring. I'm also level 55 and should hit 60 here pretty easily. Ooh. Ooh, the queen worm is up. Get a vacuum that should help us out a little bit here. Um, base crit 5. Um, let's take metabolism up. Got a lot, a lot of stuff to watch out for now. It gets a little hectic towards the end, for sure. For sure. Um, hmm. These slimes are a pain. So is this worm, because it's like, it's invulnerable half the time. And then when it's not invulnerable, it's like running away. Let's do this. Let's take attack speed. Still need to make sure we get back to the bucket. To the whale. Whatever. The whale. The well? Whale. The whale well. I feel like we just got a boost of speed. I'm not sure if that was real or am I having a stroke, but um, it's pretty interesting. If it is real. And why did it happen? a lot of damage coming in. Okay, uh, sorry, but imps, you gotta go. Um, demonic band. Retrieve item. Yep. Now we can equip that so we get more damage. And now we just fighting. Sucks. We are very tanky, that's for sure. Oh no, oh, oh no, oh, that was a lot of damage. Zigged when I was supposed to zag there. All right, 59. Hmm. 
Let's go movement speed. Should be able to outrun that thing. is kind of hectic right now. It's almost dead. Emily. There's other things going on as well. Feels like there's another elite somewhere, but maybe not. Can it just die, please? I feel like I have literally set the world on fire. Hey, we're at level 60. That's good. Um, fire breath? Sure. You get an item. transforms the damage type of your main weapon into fire it now has a 20 percent chance to burn enemies on hit well i feel like this would have been absolutely fantastic to send back to the well but we've already crossed that bridge i guess i'm gonna take it over that one for some extra fire damage, but uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. I wonder if that wep if that item only drops off the Worm Queen. That's the only thing I'm worried about there, but I don't know. It would be cool if certain bosses had unique drops. We're only going to be at 10,000 enemies killed with five minutes left. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, fire area. I mean, this seems good, especially since we just turned our weapon into fire. We're definitely getting some quests done, that's for sure. If we don't get the one we wanted to completed. Fight the run. It looks like we're gonna hit the final timer. Um, I'm gonna take Radiant Aura 7. Maybe we can kill the last boss. I don't know if you need like some type of super like special thing to do it. Or you just need enough TPS. All right, all right, all right. All right, Mr. Boss, what's up? I don't have a timer on my head. If this doesn't have a time limit, I think I win this. Oh, wait, well, well, you know, I may have been a bit hasty. His HP bar is moving though. Problem is I can't really let him get close to me. It's a whole lot of level ups to be had. Um, I think we take fire affinity again. Burning him seems like a good idea. Can we knock those into him? Is that a thing? Are those just there to hurt us? I can't really tell. I'm 
we are in for an epic battle at this point. Wow. Sword hurdy. Did the music actually just stop? That's crazy. I mean, we have a lot of HP regen as long as we don't play too stupid. Just play defensive, we should be all right. Stay out of melee range for sure. Quite a few balls over here too. That's a little worrisome. I'd really like to pull him back to like some of these XP areas. I wonder if he has an enrage timer. The sound turning off is wild. Oh no. Alright, alright. Um damage. Is the enrage timer just the number of like exploding exploding balls flying at us? If I could stay in melee range a bit better, we'd do a lot more damage, but Seems extremely dangerous. We can go at like this at this range just consistently. We seem to be blocking the skulls every time. Ow. Sword hurts. Sword is bad. And his melee attacks are very bad too. Well, we got him to half. That's quite literally half the battle. Um, I preferred when we were walking um, south. Uh, something about the, that perspective made me feel more comfortable about my distancing with him. So that seems um, relatively important to what's happening right now. I feel like if we get too close, we're just going to die. But if we're too far, we don't actually do any damage. I said I probably blocked this like I blocked the skulls, but there's a chance that I've just been lucky on my 50-50s. Ow. Yeah, don't get stepped on. That's bad. Let's pull them this way. Come on. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, come on. This is a this is an ordeal of a fight here. It's a shame those balls don't count as enemies. Definitely would have hit the quota. Like, what the hell is all this right now? He's almost dead. We're doing it. 
it almost feels unintended with the music. I feel like the that death timer was supposed to start counting down, and it just never happened. So I don't know what's gonna happen when we kill this guy. But I guess we're gonna find out together. Ow, sword, sword hurt. I think, oh, he's almost dead. Such a bad perspective right now. Stop hiding behind your army of balls, please. Defeat a lord. Congratulations, you have survived the halls of torment. Torment score. 11 bill 11 million. Um, just noting that, uh, Flame Breath did, Dragon's Breath did 200,000 there. Lord of Regret. Defeat the Lord of Regret. Kill a total of one Lord. Re unlock Blessing. Revives. Oh. Uh, we've got gold rewards. We've got gold rewards. Uh, new upgrade types for Incinerate. We unlocked multi-hit two. Nice. Uh, more golds. We unlocked an upgrade for Dragon's Breath called Stream of Fire. Invincible. A new blessing type for block strength. New trait type for Dragon's Breath. Uh, we unlocked a whole new ability called Kugel Blitz. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Or Shield Maiden. And what was at the bottom? Gold gets brewed in barrels, uh, so more gold. And then duelist unlocks item duelist spark. Nice. All right, everybody, and that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, tomorrow we'll be doing some runs with the archer, and we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll see you then. Have a great day. 